Hello everyone, the first video here which I'm going to do about Taiwan's weapons. I thought I would start with Taiwan's long range strike capabilities. Missile wise, Taiwan is in a much better place to strike back at China than Ukraine was against Russia. Taiwan has a number of surface attack weapons, one of which is the Sky Spear or Tian Chi. This is a short range ballistic missile with a range of 300 kilometers and a 90 kilogram high explosive warhead. The warhead is comparable to that of a HIMARS M31 family of rockets. It was developed from the Skybow surface to air missile and entered service in 2001. The exact speed of Sky Spear is unknown, but the Skybow has a top speed of Mach 4.5 or 5000 km an hour. The exact number that Taiwan has is said to be 50. What is interesting is where they are based, not on mainland Taiwan, but on outlying islands Tungyin and Penghu. They are based in silos, protected by a network of SAMs. Tungying is here, just 50 kilometers off the coast of China. And looking at the 300 kilometer range, it is able to strike much of China's east coast. This map here shows just how many military targets are along the east coast within range of the Sky Spear. This includes military camps and barracks, training grounds, anti-ship missile positions, radar sites and even air bases. So lots of prime targets which you expect will be hit hard. One of the main targets would no doubt be this site here, Mingde Rocket Base. This is home of the 613 Brigade which took part in the recent live fire exercises over Taiwan. I would expect this base to be a, if not the, prime target for Taiwan's Sky Spear. Penghu is here, not as close to China as Tungying, but positioning missiles here still allows them to strike China's coast. Again, turning to the map showing weapons sites and military sites in China, we can see a lot of targets, including, depending on where on Penghu the missiles are actually positioned, Shantou Air Base, home to the 25th Air Regiment equipped with the J7A. Unfortunately, none of China's main naval bases are in range, so the Sky Spear wouldn't be able to target any of the ships, unless of course they came in range while heading from China to Taiwan for amphibious landings, but it will allow for immediate retaliatory strikes on the Chinese mainland. The CEP of Sky Spear isn't known, so I can't say how accurate it is. Likewise, most of China's SAM systems are domestically developed and not much is known about how good they actually are. China has ordered six batches of the S-400 which are intended to cover the Taiwan Straits and in Ukraine, against missiles and high miles rockets they've been, well, a kind way to put it would be underwhelming, a more accurate way would be a load of old tosh. Anton Gerashenko from the Ukraine government says it can't intercept high miles rockets. So that's it for Sky Spear, its capabilities are little known but given their positions on outlying islands, they do allow for an immediate retaliation onto China's mainland in case of a war. Though major naval bases are out of range, there are key targets including Chinese marine bases, radar sites and of course, the 613 Rocket Brigade's launch site. Taiwan has a number of other surface-to-surface -surface missiles with longer range which I will look at in a later video. So I will do another video of a time so I so I will do another video about a Taiwanese weapon soon. Maybe one of the anti-ship weapons as they are quite interesting. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thanks very much and take care.